Pearly things. Pearly things. So they asked me to do the show, and I was right. like, when I've when I'm when I've got something going on, I'll do it. Mm-hmm. But I didn't know. Again, I, the same. I didn't know anything about this show. Mm-hmm. Although actually, no, no, no. I, I missed a bit of story. What's his name? Who was on there before? Um, Saurav Garvey. There was a guy. You would have seen some of his clips. Um, but he used to be like her co-host, black guy. Oh, um, and he's, he's got, has he have does he have dreads? No, oh, no, no, sorry, no, not no, dreads. No, no. Because apologies, I didn't. No, he's got he's got a bald head, um, fully because he's bald and can't grow hair. But, um, oh, you don't <laughs> like him, do you? No, no, definitely not. I don't like Pearl ever. <laughs> but it was him. It was me and him that had to be first. Um, <laughs> That's because you can't grow hair. But anyway, um, yeah. Well, a lot of you know, enough of my men. They're my bald and all that. Shout out all my you know my bald brothers like and bald people. Men. And you don't like them. I huh? don't like bald men. Uh, I'm saying that's why I, I see a meme the other day about bald, you know, men that mistreat women. It, re- it receives their hairline. Yeah. Got a bald head. That's what I'm oh, it's a specific. <laughs> you, you always got specific. Sh- remember, you always got you always got current shots to take. <laughs> what was it last time? Anyway, no, 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 no. I, I didn't see that in the episode, you know. No, but I said it you said because it in between. Because Anthony said it. He was like, "Oh yeah, because she, because." She, what? <laughs> oh, what the fuck are you doing, bro? So, Sarah so Gravid put out this video where he said, oh, loads of people have said the same statistic. They always follow it, that single mothers are like... There's a whole breakdown of why single mothers are the worst people on earth and that um, 80% of men in jail for our crimes, or even 80% of men in jail are from single mother homes. They've got all these statistics. And I looked into it and it was all made up. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, um, not exactly, but it was like at first I found out it was from single parent homes, so it didn't even specify mother. It could be mother or father. Or mother or father. Okay, cool. You know, there's more single mother homes, so they they're already joining. More, and I, every time I watch Pearl's show where she where she says a statistic since this, I've googled the statistic she says, and every single time I, this it has failed to not happen. It's been false. I've never ever seen a s- statistic from that show. Googled it, and it was true. It would always be like two things merged together or so this it's, something it's, twisted, manipulated. Yeah, that's not um, okay. That's um, not okay. You see, so you have such a big following and you're just spreading misinformation for the sake of for views. I just realised all their statistics were BS and um, I told, you know, I cussed out Sarah Garvey about his, his video. Which I, I, you know, I, as I do in the comments to wind people up, I'm, I just went at it with him and he was like, come on the show. And this is the first time I'd seen the show, so I didn't get that experience where they managed to blindside me and go, "Oh, come on, this okay, show." Okay, right, right, I've right, seen right, a clip. Right, I'm only interacting right. with this clip because of this, and I was mm-hmm. like, "Okay, I will." Like, because mm-hmm. I'm sitting there thinking, "I'm going to body this guy," and I'm, mm-hmm. I didn't even realize who Pearl was at this time. Like, mm-hmm. It seems like it's his show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then the same week, uh, another guy messages me. I was like, "Oh, do you want to come on the show?" And I thought, it was, I thought he sent them. And I recently went on this per- I went recently went on this person's other podcast, um, and asked them, and they're like, "No, nah, no, nah, that was that, uh, that's a coincidence. We just both messaged you at the same time." Mm-hmm. Um, I think I think somebody like yourself would not benefit, but they want me on the show because they want to try and embarrass me. Yeah, same no, with course. women. Yeah, like no, they only course. have women on there to embarrass them, mm-hmm. and they're looking at me and thinking, "Oh, he's a social justice warrior." Mm-hmm. They're going to get me to... I'll come on there and say all the right things that I need to say. And then they're going to upload it as male feminist gets destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when she asked me a question about... Something to do with men. Um, and it was along the lines about, like, and what have you. And she's like, I already know what you think. Mm. And I was just like, you don't? Wow. Yeah. It was just... It was... I felt like... I don't... I, don't, I felt like a victim, pal. It was awful. It was fucking, it was actually really awful. It was absolute. And then the girl next to me had said to me at the end, she's like, nobody likes to know it all. And I was like, what do you mean by that? Like, so I'm supposed to sit here and let you talk shit and not say anything. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. It's just, it's unacceptable behavior. A hundred percent. Do you think, what advice would you give to anyone who was asked to go on that show? If you are... If you're in control of your emotions or if you feel like you can regulate your emotions quite well and quite quickly, mm. then, and you have a, not a plethora of knowledge, but enough knowledge mm. and enough common sense and critical thinking, then by all means go on that show. Because at the end of the day, I think it's just a microcosm of the rest of the world. That show, 
Pearl, her guests that she brings on the show, it it's good because it's telling you this is how people think. People like Katie Hopkins. That's how the majority of the UK think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. This. Why are we? Facts. Why are we? Can like surprise? People are racist. We live in Britain. What the fuck? Yeah. Like this is how the world thinks. So going in there and it's like you can't. You can bring the horse to the water, but you can't make it drink. All right, cool. But yeah. it's like at least I I did what I needed to do, <laughs> and I'm grateful that I learned enough emotional regulation not to cry my eyes out or to beat anybody up on that show. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm even self-soothing right now because I'm thinking about being on that. It was horrendous. Wow. Yeah, it was really awful. 